Hey everyone, today I'll be talking about heat and how it is transferred. If you have any questions, please ask them after the video. Let's start by asking ourselves, what is temperature? Temperature defines as the measure of average kinetic energy of particles in a substance. Heat is the movement of thermal energy from a substance at a higher temperature to a substance at a lower temperature. So how are temperature and heat related? Well, first we have to remember that temperature and heat are not the same, but heat is the transfer of energy between substances that are of different temperatures. What does heat transfer look like? Let's take a glass of water for an example and take this down to a molecular scale. Right now, the water is at room temperature and the water molecules seem to be close together, but they can move past one another. The water is in its liquid state. When heat is lost, the molecules begin to pack together and slow down until it looks like they're not moving, even though they still are, just really slowly. This is water's solid state. When heat is absorbed, the molecules begin to spread out more and move more rapidly. This is water's gas state. As you can see, when heat is absorbed in a substance, the molecular motion increases and the molecules expand. When heat is lost in a substance, the molecular motion decreases and the molecules pack. This molecular motion can be portrayed mathematically with a kinetic energy formula, which shows that more kinetic energy means objects move faster. So in what ways does heat transfer? First, we need to know three points. Heat always moves from a warmer place to a cooler place. Hot objects in a cooler room will cool to room temperature and the cold objects in a warmer room will warm to room temperature. In other words, heat will continue to flow from hot to cold in a system until the system reaches thermal equilibrium. Heat transfer is done in three methods, conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction is the transfer of heat by contact from a higher temperature object to a lower temperature object. This way, heat transfer is most effective with solids. A good example of this is roasting marshmallows with a metal rod. As you hold the metal rod to the fire, the part in which you hold will continue to get warmer and warmer. This is because the molecules at the end of the metal rod vibrate more rapidly as it is heated by the fire. While this happens, the vibrating molecules cause the adjacent molecules to vibrate, which causes the molecules adjacent to that to vibrate, and so on. This process continues until it reaches the other end of the metal, the one your hand holds. Convection is the transfer of heat by the circulation or movement of a heated fluid, such as a gas or a liquid. This way of heat transfer holds a common saying, hot air rises, cold air falls. Heating water on a stove is a good example of this. When you heat water, the warmer water rises and the cooler water falls. This is because of the difference of densities between the warmer water and the cooler water. Like what I said earlier, heating something up causes the molecules of that substance to spread apart more. So the fire from the stove is causing the water to expand. Since that heated water has a lower density than the cooler water, the water warmer rises, carrying its heat with it. Since the cooler water is more dense than the warmer water, the cooler water falls. This is the reason why convection usually happens in a circular motion. Radiation is the transfer of heat by electromagnetic waves. It happens when the source emits energy and that energy comes in the form of waves, rays, or particles. Unlike conduction and convection, radiation does not need any materials for it to travel, as it travels through space at the speed of light. In fact, radiation may be able to penetrate certain materials. An example of radiation would be the sun. The sun emits electromagnetic radiation, but that radiation comes in many different kinds, such as visible light, UV rays, X-rays, gamma rays, and infrared rays, all of which can be found in the electromagnetic spectrum. Some of the solar radiation, or sunlight, is absorbed, scattered, and reflected by the Earth's atmosphere, which heats up the stratosphere. Other examples of radiation include light bulbs, fires, pulsars, and microwaves. Believe it or not, everything that has a temperature emits radiation, including you. All objects have moving molecules, and when their atoms move, their electrons emit electromagnetic waves or radiation. The hotter the object, the more intense the radiation it emits. The colder the object, the less intense the radiation it emits. And there you have the three ways of heat transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation. To put in short, conduction occurs through contact, convection occurs through density differences by circulation, and radiation occurs through emission by waves. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you didn't, please leave a like. Anyways, goodbye.